Okay, it's thus be chat the and welcome back to Imp Let's Play Empire Total War. And let's give you a brief status of the world uh, the world today. After I crushed the Ottomans at at uh, Bulgaria, that essentially uh was their last army in uh, all of uh all of uh almost all of it the Balkans. And I overwhelmed uh both uh finally Moldova. Uh, Belgrade and Sarajevo all uh, fell to me. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take Athens. They had too many troops there, as well as I was able to broker. Uh, sorry, and I was not able to take Cairo. I took uh, Damascus and Jerusalem. They had almost nothing defending there, and I should have pushed on and taken Egypt before I brokered peace. But uh, I, I did anyway because I couldn't. I need time to regroup and attack Athens. But now that I have, I. I have an army here ready to uh, to attack the city, but uh, I won't do it right now. I have to wait for a little bit. But yeah, anyway, back to Sweden. Uh, my strategy of economically st strangling them out uh, worked in the end. Uh, they were forced to broker peace with me, and they eventually did uh, cave in and created a, a peace with me. So that opened up my trade routes for a while until... Oh, sorry, it opened up most of my trade routes, but still the Norwegians refused to break peace with me and still remain uh, adamant that this is their, that they're going to try and strangle me out of, out of my necessary goods and commodities, and I'm losing a lot of money, money which I, I desperately need to keep the, uh, keep the war ongoing, to keep my, my forces ongoing. So... I'm going to, uh, so what I did is I took one, one ship, and I used that ship to come in and land troops in Norway and land a full stack of units, including, um, my, I maxed out my Zaporzhian Cossacks to the max, which is six units, so I have, a uh, six units of cavalry ready to attack the Norwegians and, uh, destroy them, which will finally open up my trade routes so I can actually get some decent money. I'm getting in decent money right now. I'm getting about, um, I, this is two turns worth. I'm getting about $5,000-ish a turn, and I, I saved it up because I wanted to buy a new college. So right now I have about $10,000, but I, I really want to get more money so I can keep, uh, keep attacking and, and keep this, uh, war effort going. So, Without further ado, let's uh, see, siege Oslo, and uh, my I have a pretty mixed group of uh, units. Most of it, I've got six units, six units of Zaporzhian Cossacks, one 12-pound artillery battery, four units of garrison infantry, one Stadeltsi, uh regiment, which is uh, the militia, two units of Yaki Cossacks and then three units of line infantry, most of whom have some sort of experience uh, versus uh, the Norwegians who have almost entirely uh, infantry which is in, in the form of skirmishers and militia and they have four units of uh, artillery which is not good, which is not as good as mine so let's uh, take Oslo from them and then I continue on with our campaign. So, um, we're about to form up against the Norwegian army. And, uh, like I said, they have almost exclusively, uh, skirmishers. It looks like they put down some, uh, spike barricades, so I might have to be careful when attacking. But, uh, I took my one unit of, uh, my one cannon unit and put them up on this hill right here, where most of my units are, are stationed. So I can have a beautiful view of the battlefield and hopefully uh, bombard units from this, this superior position. I've got my Cossacks all over here, all grouped up, and I'm going to try and uh, get in behind with them and just use them to wreak havoc from behind and um, rip them to shreds because these cavalry are just monsters. These, uh, these Cossacks are just total monsters. But, uh, it looks like even though we're on the, uh... Oh, there comes the, uh... 
Norwegian artillery, and great, wonderful. They killed my general first shot. Cool. That is just shit. Where's their general? I don't even know. I'm gonna charge in behind and get rid of these, uh, get rid of these guys. So I've never quite seen the computer do anything like this. I've got my, uh, my cavalry sweeped in from behind here. And, um, I also have some light Swedish cavalry, some Hepakati- I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm not even gonna begin to try. But yeah. So anyway, we're just going to charge in and get rid of these cannons from behind. I'm just hoping they don't run into the spikes here. So for some reason they have spikes inside the cannons, which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, breaking, breaking, breaking. Shattered, 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 shattered. Okay, they're all shattered. Let's get them out of there. So we took care of those, uh... Took care of their artillery pretty easily. Well, I'm gonna have the, uh... The rest of my cavalry coming from the side and just hopefully, uh... Sweep up, uh, whatever units they have in the center here, like these guys. So here's the beautiful Russian Cossack Horde. There's gotta be... this group here, there's almost 600 Cossacks. I totally broke them. swarming over the rest of these guys. Oh shit. Okay, I gotta... Using like a huge horde of Cossacks is need to be working out that well. There they go. Now they're wavering. And they're broken, okay. Shattered. Let's pull the rest of these Cossacks out. I lost a couple, more than I would have liked. So my cannons aren't bombarding houses in which uh, Norwegian troops have taken up refuge. So Cossack Corps is returning. I gotta find a better. I gotta find another place to throw these guys in.
we're gonna examine what they're doing, and then uh, I'll be back when I find a good hole to chuck my cavalry in.